Okay, so we begin second part of the Mongols campaign. And the second part of the first mission here uh, here in... I forgot, I forgot the name. Gosh, I forgot the name. Alright, so we got to bring a relic to the Ungarads, and so we're going to have to meet up with the Karyids, and hopefully there are no Karakatai across this little path right here, because I need to get some monks for myself and retrieve a relic. And we all know how glorious the relics are to these people. And these guys are going to want some sheep, too, so we got a lot of beggars going on. I don't like this. Got a lot of petty people begging for things from me. I'm Genghis Khan. I answer to no one. Winter has been hard, and our warriors are hungry. Bring us 20 sheep, and we will join you. If you are injured, our monks can heal you. Uh, not injured. So, give me your monks. Give me them monks. Or do we have to... Take, get their sheep for them first. I, yes, we have to get the sheep for them first, my bad. So we're going to, an easy place to get, I believe, 11 sheep is right to the north right here. Um, you can also get two right there, so I'm going to send them back. And there are about nine more laying out past this palisade wall. Uh, you're going to have a couple of units in here. I believe only three cavalry archers, not too heavy at all. Just make sure you're not killing any sheep anywhere. Uh, that won't be good. So focus on the cavalry archers. Make sure the sheep don't die. You got those flaming arrows. You're going down. Alright, so send all our sheep. They're all alive. Somehow he got hit. Send them back here. That will be a 9. So we have 11, I believe, if those two sheep did as I said and followed down to the Karyids, uh base. And there are a group of 3s and 2s. Not old age old but three uh three and two sheep that you can find hanging out by the riverbed they're water sheep water buffaloes you can send them back there get a scout i'm just going to take a light cavalry forget my rest of my units and there are four across the there's a little path that you can take there are four across the river sort of near to another car karakatai base so you have to be careful with so here's three more or two three very nice. And just keep searching for some more guys. Uh, you can you can find plenty on the map. So if you end up losing any, don't worry. You can just retrieve some more sheep, or you can use them as as some. Uh, you can get some good meat out of them, or you can uh, make some nice wool sweaters. Either way, I mean, you don't really need to return them in the carriers. That's just a that's just something to do. Take take your mind off things for a hobby, you know. I like returning sheep to the to certain tribes. Not necessarily a shepherd, but I wish the sheep are so slow. Oh, microphone! I'm shaking my table, shaking my table here. I'm so mad about these sheep. And see the Karakatai are right there. So you gotta be careful with them. And once we get our monks, our monk, we can send. There's a relic up here. You can believe me. There is a relic. And uh, you're going to have to send up your light cavalry along with your monk just because you're going to need to take down a couple wolves up there and don't really want a monk trying to take down wolves. I don't know how you would do that. He'd probably beat him with his uh, his his um, cane or staff or I don't whatever you want to call it. And they've got them all lined up in a nice uniform row ready to slaughter. Thank, Thank you. you. We will honor our word by providing you with these soldiers. All right, soldiers. so they're going to give us some soldiers. Bring your light cavalry because there's going to be some knights. Or some knights. Some dire knights. Where did I get knights? There are going to be some dire wolves. Stop flashing objectives. Um, guarding that uh, relic that we're going to be getting. And you can't. You don't already know. You can't take out wolves. Dire wolves with arrows. No, he's healed already. I want you to go down here. Thank you. Rest of your light cavalry. You're going to follow the guys on the horses. I know you like horses because you're riding them in the next game, if you didn't already know that. Yes, you're missionaries. Not, not lowly monks anymore. I don't know why you would ever make a monk once you get a missionary. I mean, missionaries is a rock. 
Okay. We're going to meet up with the younger ads, and they're going to come and heal us, even though I believe everybody is completely healed. Well, thanks for the effort anyways. Appreciate it. And that nice yurt, the Taichudes, you're dead. The Kirikatai, I got to tell you, though, they're in a terrible position. I mean, you must, you have to not have any idea where you're going in, in order to run, run uh, through them. You're only going to have to take them out once, and that's only three light cavalry. I mean, it's just pathetic as a as an enemy that you should fear. It's not not good preparation for what's to come in into China, the uh, third mission in the Mongol campaign. That mission is painful for a third mission. It is just painful. I mean, what, what do we compare it to? The Horns of Hatton? Not even close. And then you have to compare it to um, Cleansing of the Loire? Not even close. So... We're going to have to be on our toes once we get into China or approaching China because just approaching uh, China is awfully dangerous as well. And we have YouTubes to please here, so I would appreciate it if you cut up one a little faster. I mean, you're only as fast as your slowest person, but we have a good four and a half minutes, and I don't want to be wasting not one minute of that four and a half. What was that noise? Is that a wolf? I'm surprised the wolves aren't just all over that sheep right now. Right, head up there, there's a relic. Whoa, that wolf. That that That's an eerie call that wolf was making right there. Here, I want to see the sheep get eaten. Eat the sheep! I know you want the sheep. It just walked right through you. Oh my goodness! Black magic once again has crept into this game. A sheep has just walked through a wolf, and the wolf hasn't even reacted. I I give up. I I give up with understanding anything every anymore. I don't believe anything. So, Let's see if I can attack this. No, I can't attack this. They are the Turks. That is interesting. I did not realize that they are Turkish. Let's check out these guys. The Taichudes. They're definitely Mongols. Yeah. Um. See, what are you? You're Mongols, that's good. And here we are. The great showdown with the three dire wolves has, approach has come upon us. Hey, where are you? Please don't tell me you're up there. Nope. Down here. Take down the wolves for me. I have three minutes and I have no idea how I'm going to get those monks all the way back to the Ingrads. In three minutes. Uh, these guys will go down like nothing. Hey, you got a wolf attacking you. Wild animals. Wild thing. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm gonna bring him down. Take this path. Drop him off, and I and I will be terribly sorry if this runs over. I mean, you're just watching me walking across the map. I mean, I de I de I technically could go over here and get the relic, but it's too much of a hassle. I don't want to be take. I just don't want to fight the Karakatai. I just don't. And it could you give me some fervor technology so they can run a little bit faster, please? We're gonna have to get Furious the Monkey Boy over here to teach him how to walk. Or those villagers that have insane power walking abilities. So you're gonna go there, and then you're gonna come here. You're, you're racing the clock, man. You're racing the clock. What do you need me to play Chariots of Fire to pump you up? And from this vantage point, it doesn't even look like you're carrying the, the, the relic. I mean, you're either carrying it with one hand, because I see your hand just winging out to the side. So I'm having trouble believing you're actually carrying that. Alright. A minute and a half. This is going to be tight. This is going to be tight stuff. This is nerve wracking. Sheep, escort the way. Alright, I'm done with that. I'm done with furiously clicking that. That's where you're gonna drop it off. 
You've got a minute from now. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm in a way to. Then you're not an amenjin? There's no more amenjins? We're done with the amenjins from the Saracen campaign? I think he can make it. I think he's gonna make it. So we're gonna complete this mission in two videos, thankfully. I did not want to pull over and have a third video of me playing this one mission for another 30 seconds. So thankfully the monk has enough speed, not a lot of speed, but enough speed to complete this in the second part. So we're done with the first Mongolian mission. Definitely the easiest one. This is not gonna be this easy the rest of the way. We will ride with the great so we technically win the mission right now, or win, uh, win the mission. It doesn't say you are victorious, so if I don't, it doesn't say in the rest of this video, you'll know I'm victorious, and this is how you do it. Four so I will see you guys next time.